Good morning. Many thanks for coming. Uh, there will be no opportunity this morning for questions. However, we have time for two statements. First, the Secretary General, and then the President of Romania. Secretary General. President Johannes Der Klaus, it's really a great pleasure to welcome you here to NATO headquarters. And I think that uh, we just now had excellent uh, discussions, and also the fact that you are visiting NATO headquarters so soon after taking uh, uh, on the office uh, and the post as President of Romania shows the very strong commitment of Romania to the alliance and to uh, the collective defense uh, which uh, NATO is providing for all allies. And I would like to start by commending Romania for uh, being a staunch and strong NATO ally, uh, contributing in so many ways to our alliance. Uh, your presence in Afghanistan uh, through many years has been of great importance, uh, and you are continuing uh, in the new research support mission, and, uh, and we uh, appreciate that uh, very much. Uh, and I met with uh, soldiers from uh, Romania when I visited Afghanistan just before Christmas. And I was very impressed by the professionalism and, uh, and the determination of those uh, uh, soldiers. So uh, we are grateful for your contribution to uh, our mission in uh, Afghanistan. And I would also like to underline that what we are doing in Afghanistan is actually to uh, fight uh, terror. Because uh, the reason why NATO and Romania went into Afghanistan uh, was to prevent uh, that uh, Afghanistan was a safe haven for uh, terrorists. And uh, uh, we have uh, done what we set out to do, and, uh, and uh, we have prevented Afghanistan being a safe haven, haven for terrorists. And I think that's important in the light of what happened in Paris last week, uh, that uh, NATO still uh, continue its efforts uh, to contribute to the global global. Uh, war and the global efforts to, uh, to fight uh, terror. Uh, we also uh, commend uh, Romania for its contributions to our mission in uh, Kosovo to create stability and security in Kosovo. And we also commend you for your contribution to uh, uh, developing NATO missile defense system and hosting the site uh, for parts of the uh, missile defense system, which uh, uh, we believe is of uh, great uh, importance. NATO, is all, uh, NATO and Romania is also deeply committed to keeping our neighborhood stable, assisting Ukraine to, <coughs> through trust funds and uh, supporting the Republic of uh, Moldova. And we discussed uh, how uh, NATO and Romania can continue to support uh, both Moldova and Ukraine and to uh, contribute to stability in uh, the region. Um, NATO is uh, ready to do what it takes, and uh, we are determined to do what it takes to defend all allies against any threat. And that's the reason why we are uh, developing the Readiness Action Plan, which uh, will enable our forces to be more prepared, more ready. Uh, to deploy on short notice. And I very much welcome uh, the discussion we had on the implementation of this readiness action plan, both the importance of assurance measures, um, increased uh, 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 presence uh, in the eastern part of the uh, alliance, but also the adaptation of our forces and uh, the establishment of a very high readiness force, uh, the... the uh, uh, development and the establishment of uh, uh, force uh, integration units or command elements uh, in also Romania uh, and also uh, the rest of the implementation of the readiness, uh, uh, or readiness action uh, plan. And uh, this is an on ongoing process, but it will strengthen uh, and increase the readiness of NATO forces to protect and defend uh, all allies, which is the core mission uh, of uh, NATO. Then I also very much would like to uh, welcome, and we also discussed that uh, in our meeting, uh, the decision by Romania and the agreement uh, between all the major parties in Romania 
uh, to fulfill and to make good on the defense pledge, meaning that uh, we are going to uh, stop the cuts in defense spending and gradually increase. And Romania is an example for others. Uh, when you have agreed and the very strong commitment you have made to reach uh, the 2% guideline to spend 2% of GDP on defense uh, by uh, 2017. That's an example for many other countries, and I am going to use Romania as an example for many other countries, uh, uh, telling that when Romania can uh, increase in the way you now are doing and are committed to do, uh, that's important for Romania, it's important for the whole alliance, and it's important as an example for many other allies. So I welcome very much Romania's strong commitment to the alliance, your strong contributions to many parts of our activities and our missions, and also your very strong leadership in implementing the defense pledge. So welcome so much, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Secretary General, dear Jens, for your warm welcome, for the appreciations you expressed for Romania. I am very glad to be here today. My visit confirms Romania's firm commitment to our North Atlantic partners. Today, I assured the Secretary General of our full support for the Alliance's efforts, and I reiterated the invitation for him to visit Romania. We shall agree together on a suitable time for it. We had a very good discussion, a very substantial one. Romania's NATO and EU membership, as well as our strategic partnership with the United States, are the cornerstone of our foreign and security policy. 2014 placed Europe and the entire world in front of security challenges that had been difficult to imagine a short while before. We are witnessing worried the illegal intervention and the infringement of the territorial integrity of certain states. These are a trespassing, a violation of international law and cause insecurity in the region. We agreed that it is now time to reconfirm the staunch actions, the solidarity within the alliance, in order to clearly show that the spirit of Article 5 binding the NATO members to defend each other is as strong now as it was when the alliance was forged. In this respect, in respect it is very important for Romania to implement the decisions made at the latest NATO summit when it comes to the assurance measures for the security of the allied countries in the area. In this context, we approach the issue of defense expenditures, given that the security developments across the globe, especially in the alliance's eastern neighborhood in Ukraine, but also the taken commitment, the commitments made within NATO, caused us to increase these expenditures. I informed the Secretary General that Romania has decided to reach by 2017 2% of the GDP for defense and to maintain this level for at least 10 years. We also discussed the need to continuously support by NATO uh, for the countries on the eastern flank. I underscore the fact that Ukraine, the Republic of Moldova and Georgia need to enjoy 
need to receive uh, the adequate attention by the Alliance to be able to respond to the new security challenges in the region. I inform the Secretary General on the progress made by Romania in developing the base at uh, the Veselo, which will become operational this year. I'm underscoring again the defensive nature of this base and the fact that it is an important contribution of Romania in partnership with the United States of America to consolidate NATO's capabilities. I confirmed the significant contribution of Romania to NATO's mission in Afghanistan in the spirit of the Allied solidarity. Thank you, Secretary General. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks indeed. This concludes this press point. Thank you.